My name is Edel Duri of Bermudia. You are welcome to the Department of Physiology, University of Medical Sciences, Ondo City, Ondo State. I want to put us through how to conduct an ECG test, electrocardiography. It's a very simple test because electrocardiography is used to check the electrical activities of the heart. The first thing that I want us to note, we have different leads. We have the disposable lead is disposable, disposable lead. This is disposable lead. And we have no disposable lead. This no disposable lead, this very one is called the limb lead. The limb lead, according to coloration, the red and the black, they goes together. The black is placed on the right, the right leg and the red is placed on the right hand. The green and the yellow equally goes together. The green is placed on the left leg and the yellow is placed on the left hand. That will now take us to the precordial lead. The precordial lead, another name for the precordial lead is called the chest lead. The chest lead, they assist in nova. It is very simple. They are placed on the chest. But before we do that, there is something we need to do. When a patient presents or subject presents, you need to do swapping. You need to swap the patient. This is a wet swap. So I will swap the patients. I will swap the patients. Let's swap the patients. Swap the patients with wet swap. Do the same thing. Swap the patient. Then when I'm through with that, I'm going to place the chest leads on the chest. But there is an anatomical landmark that we need to follow. The precordial leads one, which is the V1, is placed on the fourth intercostal space. So this is the fourth intercostal space, the right sternum border. So you place it there. The V2 or C2 is placed on the fourth intercostal space. The left sternal border. And the V3 or C3 is placed on, that is, the same line with the nipple. That will not take us to the V. Four or the C4, the procardial lead. The mid clavicular line, this is the clavicle. That means the center of the clavicle, mid clavicular line, in the fifth intercostal space. In the fifth intercostal space, if this is the fourth intercostal space, this is the fifth intercostal space. That is why we are going to place the V4 the mid clavicular line. That will take us to V5 or C5. The same fifth intercostal space, you place it there. Then the last one, which is the C6 or V6, 
you are going to place it on the mid axillary line. The mid axillary line. Having done that, you must make sure the electron they do not tangle, they don't meet with each other. Because if that occur, it will cause stimulus antifat. Then the next thing, we will place the limb lead. The limb lead, like as I said before, like I said before, the green one will be on the left leg. The yellow one will be on the left hand and the black one, lean lead, will be on the right leg and the right limb lead, the red one, will be on the right hand. This is ECG gel. Having done fixing of the electrodes, the next thing we need to print the results, which is the electrocardiogram. So you can see it's reading, it's reading. You can record print and you can auto print. So this is the filter button. So I'm going to filter it. So I've already done the filter. So the next thing I'm going to auto print. See, it's printing the graphical presentation. So there's it. So from this graphical representation, we cannot interpret the ECG of the said patient or the subject, considering the p wave this is the p wave and this is the p arrow segment and from year to year is the p arrow interval and this is the q wave this is the arrow wave the s the st segment and the t wave okay so if we put into consideration if you look at the arrow arrow interval using the lead two, the arrow arrow interval is equal. That means the reading is normal reading. That is is regular reading. And if it's regular reading and the rate is just 71 bit per minute, that means it's sinus reading. And at the same time, there is no arrhythmia because the arrow arrow interval is regular. It's normal. And again, if we look at the V4, uh, V1 against the V6, there is a formula that states S. S in V4 plus arrow in V6 greater than 35 mm. That will give birth to what we call uh, left ventricular hypertrophy. But if we add these V6s to the V4, it is normal. Look at it. Just 1, 2, that is 10. And here we have one, which is um, one of it is five. And here 
is um, 1, 2. That becomes 7. 7 plus 10, that is what? 17. 17. So 17. And I said earlier on, greater than 35 millimeter is less ventricular hypertrophy. This one is 17. So there is no LVH. So at the same time, we are going to look at the P weight, the height. The height signify the right atrium and the width signify the left atrium. The height is normal and the width is equally normal. So this individual is not having left atrial enlargement, neither is he having um, uh, right atrial enlargement. And at the same time, the ST segment, the ST segment is isoelectric. The T wave is not tinted T wave, it is normal. So this individual electrocardiography is sinus reading normal ECG. Thank you.